Uh, well, it was a little bit during the, my career in the NFL. You know, I felt that I was, I was getting so beat up that you know maybe I should quit this game and go do something else. Uh, uh, but then I, you know, I got through that uh, yeah, and rehabbed and all that stuff. But uh, there were times when I felt like quitting football. I uh, just you know get fed up with all the injuries. Uh, but then I, you know, I fought my way through that. And then when I first retired, I was feeling okay. I wasn't too bad. But then, you know. A couple of years later, I had a surgery. Then I had to have another surgery, uh, and it just seemed to never end. I had both my knees replaced. I had my shoulder replaced. I had back surgery more recently. Uh, but one thing after another never never seems to end. I, I really don't. Uh, I, I had Bell's palsy uh, last year. And he cleared that up, it was great. Uh, but then uh, I started having these severe headaches, whether it's migraine or not, I don't know, but you know, it's constant. Uh, I saw a doctor not too long ago and he prescribed some medication and hopefully uh, the neurological problem will you know, uh, heal and I'll, you know, I won't have these headaches, but that's what we're hoping for. But it really scared me because I had these constant headaches for months and you know, I thought it might be a Tumor, so I hesitated to go to the doctor because I was a little afraid of doing yeah. that. But uh, you know, I finally got around to going, and uh, he, you know, he said no, it wasn't a tumor, but because of the Bell's palsy, you might have some uh, neurological problem that hopefully this medication will help solve. I'm getting concerned about you know uh, what's going to happen to me as I get a few years more down the road, and uh, so you know, I actually finally, after all this time, officially. Uh, filled out the form for uh, CTE, concussion protocols and stuff like that uh, in the NFL, just you know, in case something does happen that I want my family to be protected. Uh, you know, actually my rookie year uh, playing Miami in Miami and Bob Matheson as a linebacker, I mean, he knocked me silly. You know, that was one of the most ferocious hits I ever took. And the thing is, you know, I got back to the huddle and I started to call a play. And Randy Vataha, who was, I played with at Stanford, was one of the wide receivers. And I called a play and uh, it happened to be a Stanford play. So, and I said, ready, break. And Randy runs out there because he knows the play. And I'm ready to go to the line. But my linemen are just staring at me. You know, we had to call timeout and, and give me a moment to collect myself. And, and back in those days, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a big uh, protocol for you know, concussions or getting hit in the head and, and uh, getting dizzy on the field. Uh, so times are different. You know, they, as soon as you can go back on the field, you, you can count to three, you're, you're literally you're back on the field and playing again. You know, uh, it, I had back surgery and I, it's improved tremendously, but still, it, it always hurts. My knees always ache. Uh, uh, you know, uh, people say I look okay, but I really do not feel very good very often. You know, it's a 24-7 battle, you know, uh, it's just constant pain. And, but, you know, you learn to deal with it.